Will the first pair of virtues in each line above lead us to what concludes each line? Will love and wisdom truly keep us from fear and ignorance? Thomas of Solano, the first biographer of Francis, wrote that the poor man of Assisi seemed to his contemporaries like a man from another world. He increasingly based his life on God's sense of normal, and that meant progressively deeper conversion to God's ways. God's grace needs room to work in a person's life. Conversion creates that room in us by reassessing what is truly important and what is not. The beggar whom Francis could easily have dismissed became an instrument of God's grace. And this is our prayer for today. Good and gracious God, you have created us in your image and likeness. We are constantly tempted to try to improve on your work by finding some shortcut, some way that will save us time and energy. Help us to remember, as St. Francis of Assisi knew very well, that conversion to your ways is indeed the quickest and only reliable way to you. Amen. All our lives are a mystery, we see not where they lead. We are asked now to trust you, and we know we must believe. As our feet become Christ's feet, we go forth with the grace of the power and the spirit that is here in this place. We are gathered at table as one in the Lord. We are gathered as people who are living the word. Our hearts and our spirits are nurtured by grace. It is Jesus who fills us. He is here in this place. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, to prepare for these sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Today we are offering the Mass for the repose of the soul of Jake Disa. Let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts we may marry to attain eternal life 
to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Please be seated. <clears throat> A reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. There is an appointed time for everything, and a time for everything under the heavens, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to uproot, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to tear down and a time to build, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance, a time to scatter stones, and a time to gather them, a time to embrace, and a time to be far from embraces, a time to seek, and a time to lose, a time to keep, and a time to cast away, a time to rend, and a time to sue, a time to be silent, and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace. What advantage has the worker from his toil? I have considered the task that God has appointed for the sons of men to be busied about. He has made everything appropriate to its time and has put the timeless into their hearts without man's ever discovering from beginning to end the work which God has done. The word of the Lord. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, my mercy and my fortress, my stronghold and my deliverer, my shield in whom I trust. Blessed be the Lord, Lord my rock. rock. Lord, what is man that you notice him? The son of man that you take thought of him? Man is like a breath, his days like a passing shadow. Blessed be the Lord, Lord my rock. rock. company of apostles praise you. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Once when Jesus was praying on solitude and the disciples were with him, he asked them, Who do the crowd say that I am? They said in reply, John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others one of the ancient prophets has risen. Then he said to them, But who do you say that I am? Peter said in reply, The Christ of God. He rebuked them and directed them not to tell this to anyone. 
He said, The son of man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. This is one of the favorite uh, first readings that I like it from the Old Testament about that there is appointed time for everything. And I think for all of us in this time of the pandemic, that is a certain time, appointed time for us to understand that this is just a pandemic and one day we'll, we'll be free again, right? So we're hoping that one day we will not use masks anymore and we will be free, go to the gyms, go to the beach, travel, vacation. There is a, a point in time for everything. And God want to remind us today, before the pandemic, who, who we were. I was doing normal things, right? I was running. I went to the store. I don't need to make a line. Now you go everywhere, you have to make a line, even to the school here. You have to make a line to the office, to the school, even here in the back. With the sacristy and that, we had to have a distance before we were talking all the time, the sacristy. So now we had to have a less talk, more distance. There is always a point in time for something that God gave us to us, like our lives. We have a period of life that we need to do our best to be good. For you as students, there is a point in time for you to be in the first grade, the second grade, the third grade, the fourth grade, and you had to move, right? Every year. So you had to do your best in the grade you are right now. Why? Because the teacher and your parents expect them from you to be a good student. For me, for example, a point in time to be in San Francis. So I had to do my best as a priest. For Father Ruben and Father Chima, they had to do also their best as a priest here. Because we had to move later in another church. And we have to be there for a point in time to do our best. Your parents, there is a point in time for your parents now to bring you to the school. And they have to drive for you. They have to give you your pack, your books, do your homework. But one day, they will not be there to tell you what to do. Because you will be in college. You will be in the university. Your parents, now they are cooking for you soup, right? Sandwiches. One day. You have to make your own sandwiches. Why? Because there is a point in time that we need to learn things before we move from our homes. I miss my mom's food all the time. That's normal, right? Now I had to cook my meals. So God always tells us we, there is a point in time to learn. There is a point in time to, to grow. There is a point in time to do things that people can see it and we can change people's lives too. I like when I move from Paris to a church to a church, people remind, always remember when they saw me. Hey, Father Ricardo, you were here. Hey, Father Ricardo, you were here. I remember you. So because our time is so short, even for us as a priest, that we need to really uh, bring Jesus to people, talk to people, bring the gospel. Our time for me now is a mass. This is my time to talk about Jesus to all of you. And for, that's why the first reading is very important today because we have to remember there will be always a point in time for everything in our lives. And you as a student, this is your time in San Francis Church, in San Francis School, to be one of the best students. Because later you are going to the high school. And I want the people to, in the high school, they, you came from San Francis. Hey, I was in San Francis. Oh, how was it? And you will share with them. How beautiful was the school. Oh, I have many friends. So I like my teacher. Or I like the principal. I like, uh, maybe you would say, maybe I, I have a good priest, right? I hope you would say that. But there is a point in time always for everything. And let us really uh, pray together today. And let us offer our celebration, our mass for the pandemic. Because there is a point in time for everything. And I, I'm sure God... Uh, is telling us something in this time, something that we need to do. And one is to pray for each of us and also to pray for our brothers and sisters 
who really are suffering now in the world without job, without food, without house. There is people who really need our prayers today. And I know the little ones, always Jesus listen on them. So you and me today, we are offering the mass for, for all of us as a community, we are offering the mass for all those people who really suffer in the world right now. Amen. Please stand. With confidence, we let us offer to the Lord our intentions. Let us pray now oh, oh. for the church, that we might respond to the call to build a community dedicated to inclusion, healing, and justice. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all those who share in the ministry of the parish community, may we bring compassion and understanding to all those in need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For our elected leaders, that they may be inspired by the hope found in peace and work to end violence in all of its forms. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For an understanding that the gift of human life be treasured by all people, guarded by law, and respected by all. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all those who have died, especially Jake Diaz, may we, they be great, greeted by the warm embrace of the Father. We pray to the Lord. Hear our prayers. May Almighty God receive our intentions in the name of His Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Please be seated. Whatsoever you do to the least of my people, that you do unto me. When I was hungry, you gave me to eat. When I was thirsty, you gave me to drink. Now enter into the home of my Father. Whatsoever you do to the least of my people, that you do unto me. When I was homeless, you opened your door. When I was naked, you gave me your coat. Now enter into the home of my Father. Whatsoever you do to the least of my people, that you do unto me. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. The praise and glory of his name. Let us pray. Receive, we, we favor, O oh Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith, may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift it at your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And His coming in glory we await with unwearing hope. And so, with all angels and saints, we praise you as without end, 
we are claim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory O son in the highest blessed is he who comes to the name of the lord O son in the highest you are indeed holy O lord the fountain of holiness may holy therefore this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and willingly to his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples and saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which we give in up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and was more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples and saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we put out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim you dead, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have us worthy to your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that the partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, John, Ramon, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope and the resurrection. And oh, have thy own mercy welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us so we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph had espoused, with the blessed apostles and other saints who have preached to the ages, we may make to be called heirs of eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray together as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. And graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with the will, who this and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, to the Word, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, 
you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those go to the supper of the Lamb. Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O oh Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life, to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, our Mass is ended. Have a beautiful day. Sing with all the saints in glory, sing the resurrection song. Death and sorrow, earth's dark story, to the former days belong. All around the clouds are breaking, soon the storms of time shall cease. In God's likeness, people waking, know the everlasting.